Hi, welcome to the second video in our series on Google Classroom. In the previous video, I showed you how to set yourself up as a teacher in Google Classroom. If you haven't done that yet, I suggest you go back and follow the steps in that video and then pick up this one from here. In this video, I will show you how to set your personal notification preferences, create your first class, customize that class, set some global permissions and toggle on Google Meet for your class. So let's get started. How to set your personal notification preferences. So to do that, we are in Google Classroom. We haven't got any classes yet, but if you click the hamburger menu over here and you come down and you go into settings and these are your notification settings as a teacher. Now you may wish to uh, customize these. Okay, so here you can say yes or no to notifications in general. So when you turn it off, you will not get any notifications of any pupil submitting work. You can fine tune that with these sections here. So you may decide that you do not want to have comments or notifications about comments on your posts. Okay, or you may not wish to have notifications on late work or resubmissions or invitations to co-teach. This is entirely up to you. I would recommend that if you are going to allow comments on your classroom, that you at least have notifications about those comments. So that's your individual settings. Next up, how to create your own class. So we'll come back out of again and go to classes. Again, there's nothing here, so I go to the plus sign. I click create class. I get a little uh, wizard. We're going to call this class a demo class. Now, the other fields are not required. The more information you put in there, the better it will be for your pupils. But for this demonstration, we're just going to call it demo class. When I click create, Google creates a folder inside my Google Drive called Classroom. That's a special folder. And inside that folder, will be all of the work related to each class that I create in Google Classroom. So here you have your demo class, our demo class. Here's the top search result. And my Google Home is going off in the background. Now to customize that class. So we've got a number of customization options. The easiest one is to select a theme. So you go here and you select a theme and you can choose based on the general topic of your class. So I'm going to go for this one here with the mobile phones in the background because it seems somewhat appropriate. Okay, what will happen now is that the dominant color in the theme will be matching the image here. Now, if you wish, you can upload your own photograph and you can set that as the theme photograph and the accents and text colors will be color matched to that photograph. Okay, now let's go into global permissions. As in all things, the settings cog is where you go. And in here, you will have an overview page of class details. So you have the stuff that we filled in earlier, the name, the description, the room, the subject. That's fine. Now I imagine that most of the people watching this will be using this as a class per physical group of pupils, so a class for a class, and not a class for English 101 or something like that. Down here you have your class code, the stream. Now this is the, the, the bit that looks a bit like a, a Facebook stream. So you're saying here, I will allow my students to post and comment, or if I wish, I can restrict that to only teachers. Okay, so Depending on how you want to structure your class, you can say, I'm the only one that's allowed to post a comment in the stream, and this is going to be a passive experience for the pupils, or I want to have a, a dialogue with my pupils. Okay, so notification control, show deleted items. So if you've got something that you've deleted and you, you want to get it back, you toggle this and it will appear as a teacher. And meet. So if I click this link here, 
it will generate a link this is a new feature I generate a link and make it visible to pupils so that they can see and we can have a more traditional uh, classroom experience with pupils and teachers talking to each other I'm not going to go into marking I'll put a link in the description but you can choose in here a mark scheme so you can have a total points or a weighted category mark scheme and then you can define categories so tests essays homework in here and it will aggregate and uh, collate those marks depending on how you wish to assign percentages okay so that is your global preferences remember to click save and I'll see you again in the next one.